or TikTok. Let's talk about that. TikTok, their time could come to an end soon. On Wednesday, the House is expected to vote on a bill that would ban the social media giant if their parent company, ByteDance, doesn't sell it to a company without links to the Chinese Communist Party. Watch this. We have given TikTok a clear choice. Divest from your parent company, which is beholden to the Chinese Communist Party, or side with the Chinese Communist Party and face a ban. I would love to get rid of it. And TikTok is an algorithm designed to addict. Not every social media company should be sued if they do damage to you and your family. If TikTok does not sever itself from the Chinese Communist Party, then it should be banned. TikTok is a grave danger to America. If they pass it, I'll sign it. Some American, some American companies have shown an interest in purchasing TikTok. The former CEO of gaming platform Activision Blizzard recently pitching the idea to potential partners, including OpenAI CEO Sam Altman. Here with reaction, Florida Congresswoman Kat Kamak. Kat, good to see you. Thanks for being with us. This is unique that you have every member of ENC Energy and Commerce, the committee in which you serve all voting on this divest or sell TikTok. What happens on the House floor, and is the Senate going to pass this bill with you? Are we going to finally address the Chinese threat that is TikTok? Well, good to see you both. And Dagan, I didn't know that you had that that hog call in you, so I am proud of you. That is oh, I that was a, impressive. I have an entire <laughs> bag of hog calls, but continue, Congresswoman. <laughs> Well, and I should I should preface by saying I'm one of the very few members in Congress who has never requested a single earmark in my congressional career. But that aside, looking forward to this TikTok divestiture bill. Yes, it cleared energy and commerce with flying colors, 50 to, to nothing, because we know for a fact that this is not a ban, despite what everyone else is saying. We know for a fact that it is, in fact, a threat to our national security. We know for a fact that they have unfettered access to Americans' data. And I personally, as a constitutional conservative, would never want my government or big tech to have unfettered access to my private data. So why in the heck would I allow the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party? This is a common sense measure that really reinforces that foreign adversaries should not have control unfettered of Americans' data. And anyone who, who, who wants to oppose this, their, their arguments are hollow. And I'm happy to go through every single one of them, but this is going to fly through the House with flying colors, I anticipate 350 or more members of Congress voting for this measure. Wow. It was astonishing to watch how TikTok was basically weaponized by the yeah. communists. It, it's a spy app and targeting our own elected lawmakers uh, that using it was a foreign influence campaign that we were watching before our eyes. But many people think that the Communist Party of China will never allow the U.S. to sever its ability to manipulate and control the algorithm. Yeah, I mean, think about this, Dag. And the, just a year ago, actually to the month, the CEO of TikTok came to Capitol Hill and said that they didn't really have a connection to China. Uh, he kept saying that they're, they're based in the United States. Well, actually, they're incorporated in the Cayman Islands. But their parent company, ByteDance, has what is called a golden share that they have given to the CCP. A member of the Politburo of the Chinese Communist Party sits on the board of ByteDance. They have unfettered access. The source code is developed and maintained in mainland China. The algorithm is developed and maintained in mainland China. And the jig is up because the foreign yeah. minister of the CCP came out just 96 hours ago and said, guess what? We will never give up TikTok. We refuse. We're here to protect Americans' First Amendment rights. I'm sorry, but when the CCP starts talking about First Amendment rights, you know that they are full of it. You know they have lost. And if they were truly a profitable company looking to turn a buck, they would divest because they stand to make a windfall in this deal. So this is all about access, not about money. They want to use this as an asymmetric weapon no of war. That is what this is all about. That's yeah, about power. But Kevin, we want to move on to this, get your take on a new report by one of the committees that you serve on, the House Subcommittee on the Weaponization of the Federal Government. They revealed further details on how the FBI was structuring financial institutions, or they were instructing them, to surveil Americans. Now, the report details alarmingly broad and unjust surveillance of Americans' banking data by the government through the Treasury. The Treasury then sent a third-party report to banks that compared 
Conservative groups such as the Center for Immigration Studies, they label them as hate groups. So, Kat, uh, I, you had a great bipartisanship on the TikTok bill. Is there bipartisanship that this is not a role for government? If, you, if someone's committed a crime, get a warrant and access the information, but what they've done here um, is unjustified and unlawful? Oh, a thousand percent. And we know that the, the FBI and the DOJ has become increasingly weaponized against the American people. And, and that is all the more reason why we have to take action to protect our constitutional rights. You know, when it comes to TikTok, they say it's a First Amendment infringement. There's no content moderation there. And I don't ever recall espionage being one of the tenets of the First Amendment. Just like on the Fourth, event, uh, Fourth Amendment, there was no warrant established to do this mass collection and pilfer through your financial data. And that's what we've been finding on the Weaponization Committee. Where the DOJ and the FBI, they take these unauthorized actions to really engage in political warfare and lawfare against American citizens. So if you shop at Cabela's or Bass Pro, all of a sudden you're labeled a domestic terrorist? This is absurd. And it's such a violation of our Fourth Amendment rights. That's why we have to get back to the basics, really rein in this overbearing, overgrown government, and make sure that, that those agencies, which their rank and file folks are fine, they're good, dedicated people but their political leadership, it needs to get tossed out. And there needs to be some really strong guardrails in place where they can never abuse the constitutional rights and protections of Americans ever again. Amen. Congresswoman Kat Kamek, great to see you as always. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys.